But I still believe that you're going to see oil at $65 by year end. This is just a, a minor little blip to the upside and the market overcorrected. Wow. Um, Courtney, would you agree with Steve that oil is headed lower? Uh, I, I actually I don't agree with that. I think that's probably a, a more aggressive on the other side, uh, which you might be right. So I guess we shall see there. Um, but I think energy has really looked attractive here um, pre previous to OPEC making this decision. I think that only really likely makes it more attractive as we look forward here because there are structural supply and demand constraints when it comes to energy. And that was the case even before we had this news today. So I think when you're looking later this year, the only problem is it is going to make the Fed's job a little bit more difficult because this was one of the pieces of inflation that had finally come down. And you were seeing actually consumers were using this income to spread to other areas. And so now they're focusing on those other areas to bring down inflation. But now if energy prices are coming back up, it's going to make their job that much harder on cutting interest rates, which means that we could still see a further slowdown ahead. So I think that's probably the bigger uh, theme we're going to see here. But energy is a play. I think it's a wonderful hedge to have in your portfolio.